Hello everyone and welcome to Action RPG Build Guide Edition. Today I'm ready to drop on you my Carino Lethal Flash in its finished state. I've been playing this for over a week, I've been streaming it, and I feel like it is in a really good place. And for the most part, it is pretty cheap. All the gear I am using, everything costs me about 150 FE. I know to some people that's cheap, to some people that's expensive, but that's what I spent. As always, we'll cover every facet of the build. Everything is timestamped in the description below. Let's not waste any time and jump right into this. Starting off with some gameplay. Now, the skills I'm using for this build are Blazing Bullet, Frigid Transmission, Bloodthirst, Aim, and Compound Potion. Now, this new skill for Season 2, Blazing Bullet, functions very well with Lethal Flash. It focuses on penetration. And with Lethal Flash, you have a certain hero trait where the bullet goes through the enemy, hits the wall, and then comes back. Which means it's hitting the enemy twice, and it is an area damage skill which causes explosions. So every enemy with one shot gets hits twice and two explosions, has perfect synergy and focused and functions very well. Now with this build, you will notice that pretty strong, pretty quick, I mean basically you're almost one-shotting everything. And in the past, my Carinos have been more glass cannon-y, and we struggled with survivability. Well, I've tried to fix that with this build. Instead of evasion, we are focused on strength and, arm and armor. And because of that, we have 70,000 armor. I think it's actually 77,000 armor, which gives us over 60% physical damage reduction. We also have tenacity blessings, which give us more damage reduction. You have your regular resistances as well. So for the most part, I mean, I don't want to say you won't die because you will from time to time, you'll get caught in something. But this newer version of Lethal Flash is pretty tanky. Pretty tanky. So if you like ranged, if you like this mechanic, this might be the build for you. As you can see, at tier 7, everything just melts. Let me quickly show you a supercharged lethal flash. Conflicts carry the weight of both honor and shame. of the Void Sea Tier 7. Die, die. Dead. Let's see, maybe we got something good. One FE. Now let's check out the skills for this lethal flash, starting with the newcomer Blazing Bullet. What you want is projectile penetration, critical strike damage increase, wind projectiles, added fire damage, and fire penetration. Done lots of testing. Some are close, but I found this to be the best combination. Compound Potion. Residues, cooldown reduction, and berserk. Frigid Transmission, this is your movement skill, cooldown reduction, increased area, and mark. And what's great about this skill is you will slow enemies and you will mark them so they take more damage. And that's why since this is an area skill, you want to take increased damage because it gives you a big ring so it is easy to hit those bosses. Aim, you want Mania, Bloodbath, Extended Duration, and Mass Effect. Mass Effect gives you two charges. Bloodthirst, exact same. Mass Effect gives you two charges. Down in the passives, you want precise, precise projectiles. This is unequivocally the most important passive. Why? 
because it also gives you two extra projectiles every other shot, which projectiles are huge with this build and projectile speed and projectile damage. Then we have precise charged flames, which is going to give you fire penetration and added fire damage. Then for that boost to survivability, we have auto defense with stone skin, and this is going to help with 40% damage absorbed. And then last but not least, cast on crit, thunder light field. All you need is level one, okay, because it's going to trigger lucky for you and then fixate. So something you will notice, we have sealed no life on this tree, so you're not giving up any life, and it only costs 415 energy. So it is very cheap when it comes to energy as well. Those are the skills. Now let's check out the hero traits for this blazing bullet. At level 32, you want top. At 62, you want top. And at level 80, you want bottom. Now what's really interesting about the way I have set this up, and again, I've done so much testing, the way it's geared and skilled, attack speed does not help you in any way. I know that's hard to believe. If you have 500% increased attack speed or negative 100, it doesn't matter, okay? Because you don't reload fast enough to use it. Basically, every single time you shoot, you will shoot all the ammo you have. So it doesn't even matter. When it comes to which one of the hero relics I took, I just have projectile quantity increase and projectile damage. Projectile damage, projectile quantity. Movement speed, projectile damage and movement speed and projectile damage. This one being my favorite. Those are the hero traits. Now let's check out the talents. Right now we are level 94. 94, and I wish I was 96, because I feel like I need two more points. Okay, you want to start with God of Might. And this is the way you want to take it. No scrolling needed, you can see it all. The only two wasted points are right here, because it is attack speed. But you either get cast speed or attack speed, so that is the way we went. At 10 points in, you want to take Tenacity. This is going to give you your Tenacity Blessings plus one additional stack, okay? It'll all make sense. I'll tie it all together. At level 20, you want to take Great Strength. This is going to lower your attack speed, which we don't care about anyways, and get 35% additional damage from main hand, and we are a two-hander. You then want to take Warlord, okay? This is how you all, I'm going to, I'll, slow, I'll slowly scroll through it so you can see. Okay. And in Warlord, you will see this node right here. Own one additional stack of Tenacity Blessing and additional skill radius per Tenacity Blessing. You're going to have nine. So just so you know, obviously, since... Blazing Bullet is an area skill. You're going to have a very large area when you are fighting. Okay. 18 points in, you want to take Rock. Max Tenacity, tenacity Blessings plus 2 and 15% fire damage per stack. Again, you have 9. 9 times 15. That is how much additional fire damage you're going to get. And remember, Tenacity Blessing doesn't give you any damage normally. It's going to give you 4% damage reduction. So if you have nine blessings, that's 36% less damage taken, and it's going to give you a huge boost to your damage. At level 36, you want to take Focus Strike, and this is just going to give you a 40% blanket area damage boost, because again, Blazing Bullet is an area skill. Last but not least, you want to take Ranger, and those two points I was talking about that I wish I had, one would go here, and the other would go there. And then I feel like it would be finalized, okay? But we're only level 94. So this is how you want to go. I will scroll through it. Okay. And what's great about Ranger is right here, you're going to have kill threshold of under 8% life. And go back down. At 18 points in, you want to take shooting arrows, which is projectile damage. And at 36 points in, you want to tank impending, which is damage the closer you are. If you find yourself always fighting far away, 
You can literally switch over to rapid shots, but I normally fight close, so I take impending. Those are the talents. Moving over to everyone's favorite gear, and like I said earlier, this build is not ultra expensive. It cost me about 150 FE to make, and the sky's the limit as far as how far you want to take it. And even though it's fairly cheap to make, it is pretty specific. And I'm gonna go through each item, okay? For helmet, there's nothing on here special. Take whatever gives you the most damage or survivability, okay? So helmet, you have lots of options. Under armor, we are using Dragon Breath Armor, and on here we are taking the Corroded Affix for percent to gear armor. This singular item gives 23,588 armor, which is just massive. Okay, I'll show you my armor when we're done going through the gear. I really like having this affix. You can get life. And then down here, you will see that you can only deal fire damage, but it is going to give you a huge boost to your fire damage, 216%, okay? But follow me for a second, because one thing that sucks about Dragon Breath armor is it ignites you, which means you are consistently hurting yourself, which means there is a certain affix you are required to take. So we're gonna jump down to our Boots of Sinned Fire. This is a level 25 unique. I told you it is pretty cheap. And what's great about these boots is it has right here immune to ignite. So you are no longer hurting yourself because you are immune to it. And again, what's great about these boots is you can get a corroded affix 57% additional damage against ignited enemies. So it's going to take care of that problem and give you a big boost to damage. And it can roll as high as 40% movement speed. Okay. Looking at gloves, nothing special here. Get as much physical, fire, and survivability as you can. Moving over to our amulet. Very important. Very, very important. Illusionary Ocean Silk Ash. It's going to give you life. It's going to give you skill radius. It's going to give you fire. It's going to give you maximum tenacity blessings. That's how we got to nine. But more importantly, it's going to give you as high as a level 29 Scorch. You will notice during my skills portion that you did not see a curse or Scorch on there. It's because we get it for free. And instead of a level 20, a level 28 from this amulet. On top of that, it is going to take 36% of that erosion damage and turn it into fire. But normally people die to erosion. So this amulet is going to help you as well. Great amulet not super expensive and fits this build perfectly moving over to our belt of course we're using an infinity belt and what you want to find for this is gale 100 projectile speed bonus is also applied to projectile damage and it gives you a 25 20 percent projectile speed so you'll notice that i take projectile speed anywhere i can during my passives and you will see it in the pets okay Moving over to our rings. Again, something also very specific affix you need to find. Adds six to seven fire damage per stack of tenacity blessing. Like I said, we have nine of those. This is the affix you want to find. And as you can see, I have that on both. Huge damage numbers once you get them. Last but not least is the weapon. This is King Lionheart's Ambition. And I was able to get it with an elemental damage corrosion of 43%. Gives you lots of physical damage, gives you uh, main hand damage, and gives you agility blessings, which is good. Even though you don't care about the attack speed, at least it gives you some movement speed. Now, looking at survivability with everything you've seen, my resistances are fairly solid, and again, Erosion at 35% feels fine because a big brunt of that is going over to fire. And as you scroll through here, fire penetration, but the one I want to show you is armor. Almost 77,000 armor, which is going to give us a 61.2% physical damage mitigation. Okay, so with the armor, with the tenacity blessings, with your resistances, you become pretty tanky. Pets are not very good. I'm using a level one traveling lizard green leaf, level one traveling lizard violet, and then a purple Mike Wazowski level six violet. Now, these two pets aren't 
They're just regular attack damage and crit. But the Traveling Lizard Violet does give us something pretty important. You will see up here, or right here, 35% projectile speed. And that is something that we really like. 18% projectile speed. 18% projectile speed. And since we have Gale on our belt, all of that projectile speed gives us projectile speed, but it also doubles as damage. Focus in on Traveling Lizard Violet. All right, everyone, that's the build guide. What do you think of my Lethal Flash Blazing Bullet? Is there something I missed or something I could do to take this to the next level? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Two asks at the end of this video. Ask number one, I'm hoping today is the day I have earned your subscription. Hoping today is the day you make the decision to push that little red button. I would really appreciate it. It really does help the channel as we start 2023. Ask number two, check out my Patreon. Thank you to the first 57 members that have signed up. Become an instant ARPG VIP and get Patreon exclusive content at the first link in the description. Weekly podcast, weekly blog post, access to the VIP lounge. You could chit chat with me every day. Chance to win custom merch. Lots of goodies. Again, first link in the description. And by the way, there's lots of build guides down there too. So if this lethal flash doesn't tickle your fancy, maybe you'll find something else that does. That's all I've got. Hopefully you're entertained or at least learn something. Aaron, out. Mm -hmm.